The details about Kun Pan's life point to truths about the person, the places, and the times. But dates and place names offer only an illusion of authenticity. Uh, chapter two is really what I would call the biographical chapter, uh, and uh, the title of it is Lion Lawman. Having cheated death as a child, he was single-minded and fearless in his pursuit of lawbreakers, and believed he was entitled to use any means necessary to defeat them. There's quite a long section about his operations, his pursuit of outlaws. Uh, the word in Thai is Joan or Joan Purai. Uh, sometimes it means bandits, uh, which is a uh, sometimes an awkward term because some of these characters were just thieves and, and criminals and murderers. Stories abound of his slipping into local communities in disguise to pursue his quarry. And to this end, the magical practices he cultivated were said to render him invisible so he could detect and punish. This indistinctness and the undecidability of what he had or had not done also threw up around him an aura of apprehension and fear of what he might do, what he might be capable of doing. When Kun Pan once boarded a train in the south, his stroll through the carriage was enough to shush the chattering passengers into silence. เอ่อท่านเป็นคนต้นแบบเอ่อของคนในชุมชนที่เป็นคนบ้านนอกและไปประสบผลสําเร็จเอ่อก็ถือว่าท่านเป็นคนหนึ่งที่เป็นคนต้นแบบในเรื่องของคนมีจริยธรรมในเรื่องของความซื่อสัตย์ And there are extensive descriptions of these operations provided by the policeman himself. He loved talking about his exploits, including one where he quite violently closed down a, a den of iniquity in Suratani uh, during the years of World War II. Um, an opium den, brothel, uh, gambling hall uh, that was causing uh, uh, a lot of strife in the community. Received secret communications from the Central Bangkok Command and using his own uh, officers that he brought from the farther south where he came from, uh, he managed to uh, close down this, uh, this infamous uh, casino. In the first instance in which he was responsible for the death of a lawbreaker, he was accused by the family and the community of going beyond what was necessary. Uh, the Thai phrase doesn't really say beyond uh, the use of excessive force, doesn't really talk about excessive force, but says beyond what was required. In fact, the man was already in custody, so why did he die? A lawman who was prepared to display in public the severed head of an outlaw to warn others off the territory he protected was not a man to be trifled with. 